No Korean dish tastes like this. <laughs> a lot. His name is David or Jeha. Jeha, Jeha. Jeha Lee, let's keep it like a uh, Korean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take him to eat something that he's never tried before. It's called blood soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a blood soup. I was asking him yesterday like uh, have you ever tried blood soup before? And then he said like what the hell what the hell is that blood soup? Like okay what have you tried before? Like, what Thai food have All you right. tried before? <laughs> Alright, so, so I tried this thing called uh, Pa Kapong Ton Nam Pla Kang Pa La Mu Yam Kai Tao Yom Pla Tuk Pu Ho Rapa Ho Rapa, yeah? Mu Da Tue Mu Da Tue Mu Da Tue 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 What? Mu Da Tue Mu, mu Da Tue Dried pork <laughs> but you've never tried blood soup before. No. Like noodle in a blood soup. It's actually made from blood. Yes. <laughs> I looked it up. <laughs> so we're gonna go taste it today. And I'm actually gonna tell you guys about all the history and all everything that maybe you want to know or you don't want to, but let's go. Look around. It's not much, it's just like tables, seats, and whatever. But on the table, they can prepare this for you so that what do you want on the menu right there, you can just order it. So, what would you like? Uh, blood soup. It's my first time, right? <laughs> or is it different kinds? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's gonna be blood soup, like uh, for sure. Yeah. But then for the noodle, you can choose either it's gonna be eight noodles, the small type of noodle, uh -huh. a little bit bigger noodle, or Alright, what's the most popular one that most people get? Senlik, which is like a not so small, not so big. Got it. That Perfect, one. yes. Senlik. Nam. Would you like it with beef or pork? Beef? <laughs> beef. I would go for um, egg noodle. <laughs> I don't say beef, I have to say nuga. So, two of them. They actually like prepare this and free water. Ah. All this blood noodle soup in Thailand. When they serve bowls of noodle, besides meat, meatballs, organs, garlic, radish, morning glory. Bam! Look at that. That the raw blood. Right there. Still a drop on it. They pour it, stir it around a little bit just to make it cooked. Pour it right into your bowls. But this thing. Yes, this is the whole horapa, right? Yeah, this yes. is the horapa, which is like the sweet drizzle. <laughs> and also the bean sprout. Pick whatever you like and put in it here. in here. Yes. All right. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then just a bit then. Got it. In every shop, they prepare this for you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Like on the table. Vinegar. Chili flakes, fish sauce, and sugar. I'm gonna mix this. Yeah. <laughs> Let me put my spoon on down first. All right. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes. The blood that they put into the soup gives it a dark color and pretty deliciously thick kind of soup. Let's try this. Take a bit of it. Put it on my spoon. Yeah. Put a bit of vegetables on it. All right. This is good. Yeah. It's a bit spicy. Uh -huh. It doesn't taste like blood. Uh -huh. Not that I know how it tastes. Yeah. Right? It doesn't taste like blood. Uh -huh. Not that I know how it tastes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then um, this is, was it beef? Did I order beef or? Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. 
This is really good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you, you have like the Thai spice uh, taste in this one. Mm -hmm. mm. Very, very good. No Korean dish tastes like this. Oh, yeah. No Korean dish tastes like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what I got is a little bit different from his bowl just because of this noodle. I ordered the egg noodle. <laughs> Mm. Oh god. So this type of noodle, they also actually call it boat noodle, right? Because um, as you can see, they sell it in the boat. There. Can you see the boat? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in 1942. I know. <laughs> History is yeah, it starts since then, like uh, 1942. People start to like sell stuff in the boat in the Bangkok Canal. This one will be served by just like one merchant, like you know, like in one with One merchant do everything himself. He paddle, he make the noodle, he serve, he get the money and oh take the money. Right? That is why, actually, that is why they have to do it in a really small bowl, but even smaller than that. Sorry, <laughs> like this, like minus bigger one. But usually it's gonna be like small or even smaller than this. This is probably the worst dress code to wear to this restaurant. Mm -hmm. I already told him that you're supposed to wear something like um, not this light of the color. <laughs> it happens. like this blunt soup noodle a few places around here but this is actually my favorite one because the way they prepare this like a really fresh and really clean compared to other places the soup you don't even have to like um, mix all the condiment even more because it's always like spicy is it spicy for you? spicy it's spicy yeah that I have to do like a little bit I forgot to tell you about the place name this place called Kui Tiao Ria actually means sweating noodle like when you eat it and you sweat <laughs> see this? I just thought about this when I like oh I need something to oh uh, we come here today raining a little bit so it's not so hot <laughs> usually the noodle is hot and then the weather is super freaking hot so totally makes sense why they call it Oppa. <laughs> yes you done? I'm done, I'm done. No, 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 we're not done. We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're not done yet is because every place, uh -huh. most of the place that they sell this boat noodle thing, the bloody noodle soup, somehow they also provide this so that after like all the sweating and all the heat, everything, you want to cool down with some sweet. Oh, wait, is it different ones or? No, it's same. So yes, this is actually like a coconut rice custard pudding kind of thing. Coconut rice pudding. We're gonna cut this. On top, right here, is the coconut milk. Once you cut it open, <laughs> inside, it's green. Can you see the green? Oh yeah. Yeah, that part inside is like, um, the pan and juice mixed with cold coconut sugar or something. Or something. <laughs> mm. Good? Very good. Tell them what it tastes like. It tastes like coconut, coconut. <laughs> and the pandan leaves. I've had it in Malaysia, similar, something very similar. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like and it's like pudding. Yeah. So it's like pudding. Okay, Oppa. Whatever we just had uh -huh. right there caught us 70 bucks. Oh, yeah, 71. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much like a little bit over $2. So and I'm actually cheap. full. Are you full? Yeah, I'm full. Yeah, I'm really full. But you know what? This is actually like one of the favorite places 
for boat noodle for me right here in Bangkok. See if you guys ever eat Bangkok or something, check it out. No, that is not it. We just actually came to like this drink place, like a really small place in the local market around here. And I just got this, my favorite one. What's it called? The tiger thingy? Like right here. Here. <laughs> it's never tried it, like for sure. Never tried it. It's fun. Alright. It's some kind of leaf juice. I don't know, this this tastes very healthy. It's like yeah, yeah. it's like herbs. <laughs> like yeah. it's like medicine actually. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I think I'll stick with the boba. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to Way Beyond Pad Thai's channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hair like this, so that when you like, we feel bored, you can just do it. <laughs> do it, Oppa. All right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Oh, no, I should. Oh shit, shit. In the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs>